So my topic is going pro. And the idea about going pro, well, let me ask you this. How long does it take for somebody to really become a master at what they do? You guys have heard the study. They've actually done some studies on this, and they found to become unconsciously confident, where you're absolutely fluent in something, like being a doctor, being a health coach, uh, being a violinist, whatever it is, it usually takes not just one year, 10 years, or 10,000 hours of deliberate focused attention. Now, my focus is to ask you guys this, how many of you think that no matter how good you're doing, there's always another level to take your business to, right? Isn't that one of the characteristics of a, of a pro? Is that they're never satisfied? So let me ask you this, what's the difference between a pro and an amateur? Time. So time? Participation. Knowledge. Participation, how engaged they are, right? Are they on the sideline? Preparation. Vision. Vision. They have to really know where they're going and why it's important enough for them to put in those 10,000 hours. Commitment. Commitment. Would you agree that amateurs, let's contrast this now. How, do it, how would an amateur show up as compared to a pro? Lazy? Late. <laughs> Unprepared. Less confident. Is that what you said? Who's ever seen somebody who's overly confident and they don't really have the confidence to back it up? Yeah. And they are, you know, how about this? What's the difference between a pro and an amateur in a, in, in a, in a sport like tennis? Well, what is it? Success. Experience, they put in the hours, they've done the dedication. But one big thing is, who gets paid? Pros get paid because they're proficient enough to earn a living off that. So let me say this, if you want to be a pro in Take Shape for Life, is it okay if we pay you? Because is it hard work? Does it take up every day making those decisions to get up and be your best and come to these types of trainings, even if you've been to this training a hundred times? Would a pro come the hundred and one time? Would an amateur? No. So let's talk about what does it mean to be a trilogist. It's like the highest level of being a health coach is a trilogist. Now, some of you are new are going to go, what's a trilogist? But let me hear from some of you that do know, what is a trilogist? What does it mean? Having balance in all trade areas, healthy body, healthy mind, and healthy finances, and having towards what you want. Excellent. Having balance in all three areas, healthy body, healthy mind, healthy finances, and constantly moving towards what you want. What else? What does it mean to you? Those of you that have started to have that balance in your life, what does that mean to you? What does that give you? Peace. Freedom. Freedom. How many of you agree with that? Freedom. Right. When you actually have all three parts of the trilogy, healthy body, healthy mind, healthy finances, you can actually be a choice. You can actually start organizing your life around what matters most to you. Those things that really matter, whether it's flying across the country on a dime's notice because you just had a grandson, whereas uh, two years ago, you couldn't do it because you've got such an overwhelming practice and you've got so much stress going on, you can't get away, or maybe you're in a position where you'd love to be there, you just can't afford it because the financial piece is there, right? So this is what we're gonna talk about, and I wanna ask you this, this is the question that only you can answer. Are you treating Take Shape for Life like the business that it is, or a well-paid hobby? Are you showing up like a pro or an amateur? Now if you wanna be a pro, that's what this rest of this talk is about. So I'm gonna talk about things that actually Matter. Now, for example, if you want to get good at anything, the key to that is, number one, you got to know your numbers. you got to track your performance. Because Edwards Deming, who is the move, he's the grandfather of the quality movement, he helped turn Made in Japan, which 30 years ago, Made in Japan meant what? Yeah. Junk. It's going to break. Today, Made in Japan means what? Quality, Quality and value, right? Deming said, you can't improve what you don't measure. This is where somebody has this unbridled confidence based in non-rationality or non-reality. If somebody's really confident but they don't have the track record, you can't get better without improving. So to get better, here's a couple things we're going to talk about. Understand the basics of our compensation plan. 
What are you getting paid to do? And why do we organize it the way we did? How to learn to use SAC as a learning tool and for goal setting for yourself and for your team. And what are the key performance indicators? What are those key numbers, those key actions and strategies that will move you towards your goal to being a teleologist? Okay? So for your newer coaches, I will say this is advanced. You guys have just stepped into the deep end. If you're brand new, if you're less than six months into this business, I hope I don't scare you away. <laughs> I hope what I do is I paint a picture of what's possible. You can look at some of these leaders that have gone before you and have been up here on stage and you can say, maybe if I'm going to put in four years, six years, seven years, maybe I can be here, okay? But I want you guys to see what's possible. Isn't that important to know what's possible? So you can set your goals and you can dream and you can have a vision? All right, so let's talk about So a lot of this comes right out of our guide which you can download and you can go through in detail. I'm not gonna go into detail on this because there's trainings online and there's guides that you can go through. I wanna talk about the most important concepts. So one of the most important things for a client is they get into the fat burning state and all of a sudden they feel good, what else happens? They look good, their hunger goes, their energy goes, the scale starts, boom, 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 and all of a sudden, so the same thing for a coach is the first 30 days is an important window. And when you help them get their first, when they hit senior coach, that's like a client getting in the fat burning state. Because all of a sudden they see results. They've got five people getting healthy. They're seeing that what they're doing is working and they start having confidence. Man, this is working. Maybe I could do this. And then they look in their, their account and they've got these deposits coming in and they say, well, I'm getting paid to do this. It's having fun. It's working. I think I can do this. So that's what we want to do is help them. And the senior coach has a client acquisition bonus. The company puts in a bonus right up front to get somebody out of the gate into success. And it's a $100 bonus on top of all the coaching fees. And then Robert was saying we have this encore bonus so they can actually do it not only the first 30 days, because that's the original cap bonus, is you have to get your first uh, five ordering clients with and $1,000 in group volume. It's 1200 It's actually 1000 for cap. For senior coach, it's 1200 But it's 1000 for the cap, just to be accurate. Um, but the good news is, is if you got five clients, you're gonna have way more than that. Right? So here's a couple things. So the first thing is the cab bonus for over a thousand in commissionable goods within the first 30 days. Client support commissions. Now on top of that, every coach, whether you're brand new or whether you're a senior coach or whether you're a manager or either AD, you get 15% right across the board. Every single coach is gonna get at least 15% on their client orders, okay? But there's also a certification bonus. And certification, A, is going to give you more skill sets. B, it's going to give you the distinction of saying, I'm certified by Villanova University, by the Cope Center of uh, BC Education. And they pay you more because they know certified coaches are going to do a better job. So they pay you a 3% on top of the 15%. So a health coach is going to make 18% if they're certified, 15% if they're not. When you reach senior coach, now there's these client support bonuses. This means as your volume goes up and you go from uh, health coach to senior coach, that means you're below 1,200 here. When you get above 1,200, now you're a senior coach and they give you a 5% bonus. So now your total is 23 if you're certified. If you're not certified, what would it be? 20. 18. Oh, no, I'm sorry. 20. It would be 20. Thank you. Because you don't have the 3%, you have this and this. Thank you. Now, when you're a manager, you have over 2,400 in frontline volume. And then you're going to get a 7% bonus on top of the 18%. When you're associate director, over 3,600, you get a 9% bonus, 27. Now, obviously, Robert mentioned this, the key to this business, the structure of this business is built on two structural units, senior coach and executive directors. So we want you to get to executive director as fast as possible so you can maximize the compensation plan. But there's also some other bonuses that happen. Let me give you a little bit of a visual of what that looks like. If you're a senior coach and you've got your five clients, if you're not certified, you're gonna earn about $300 in coaching fees. If you're certified, you earn $345 because it's the extra 3%. Now you're a senior coach. Now, when you're an ED and you have over 6,000 in volume, we call it ED by what? By volume, by volume okay? Over 6,000 in frontline volume gives you the points you need to become executive director. And now you're gonna earn uh, the maximum percentage. Now, if you're not certified again at 1680, 
if you are certified in 1860. So it's definitely worth getting certified. One of the other things that happens, now you become a fully integrated what? Health coach. So once you're an ED with volume, and you're certified, and you're on B-SLIM, and you're following, you're a fully integrated client, now you're a fully integrated business coach, and now you qualify for other bonuses, which we'll talk about in a second. When you down here, this example is where somebody has not just 20 clients, this is an example of somebody that has 40 clients, and now we put you in what's called the 10K club. And really at that level, when you have uh, 10,000 in frontline line, how many of you have been at the end of the month, I've been here before, at the end of the month you're at 5,500, and there's three days left, and you're stressing because you want to hit executive director, right? I can recommend this, is don't set your goal to break 6,000 in frontline line, set your goal to be 8,000. And then once you reach 8,000, set your goal to be 10,000. Because something magic happens when you get to 10,000 in frontline volume. It's like critical mass. All of a sudden you're getting so many referrals, so many people are excited about the business, they, all of a sudden you've got this new influx of excited health coaches. Now there's one more bonus, and this is for coaching. Again, all these bonuses I've talked about had to do with you coaching clients. So there's one of the bonuses called the consistency bonus. In order to qualify, no matter what level you're at, you need to be certified. For three consecutive months, if you maintain at least 2,000 in frontline volume, you have to, you have to at least get 2,000 every month for this to work. If you, if you average 2,000 a month for three months, you get 250. If you average 4,000 a month for three months, you get 500. If you average 6,000 a month for three months, you get a $1,000 bonus. How many of you got that bonus, or one of these bonuses? It's kind of fun, isn't it? Very. And again, <laughs> every 90 days. Yeah. And the cool thing is, is we're getting bonus to do the right thing, to be consistent, to help our clients not just get on the program, but stay in the program. So all these incentives are based on driving our behavior as coaches to doing the right thing. You will not find one area in this compensation plan where you can do nothing and make money. I love that about this company. It's not free ride. It's no get rich quick thing. It's get rich slow. But become wealthy and, and, and not just the one area. It's to become wealthy and have quality of life and have more than just the finances. Because here's what we know. How many of you stumbled into becoming a coach? It really wasn't your outcome. You just kind of like, okay, I got to do this, right? Because the proper outcomes of coaching is that either A, they're gonna be a huge referral advocate and they're gonna send you a lot of referrals, which by the way, that's a great sign that they could be a great what? Oh. Coach. Or they quite out, Frank frankly said, I got one coach on my team who says, Greg, I have to be a coach. My mom and my sister are forcing me to do it. <laughs> they want me to teach them how I lost my 60 pounds. And so that's the next thing is for you to build a team. So even if you're a health coach and you're just loving the coaching piece, it's actually very organic for you to move on to team building. And it sometimes happens, like Karen says, it's going to happen with or without you. You might as well get on the bus and write it. So why team building? What, what are some of the benefits of team building? It's fun. So it's more compensation. It's more fun. How many of you agree? It's more fun to do something with a team than it is to do it as a solo person, right? What a lot of people are Who would agree you can help more people like uh, Greg and Denise were saying? They can help hundreds of people just in their practice alone. But there's going to be a point where there's only so many hours in a day they can only talk to so many people per day. But when you build a team, together, everybody accomplishes more. It's leverage, right? You get to pick who you hang out with. You get to pick who you hang out with, who you, who you partner with. Now, we're going to talk about what it means to you in quality of life. How many of you know somebody, this is the time-money ratio. Maybe you've heard Dan talk about this. How many of you know somebody who has a lot of time, but they don't have a lot of money? No. How about somebody who has a lot of money, but no time to enjoy it, right? Now what about the person who's struggling in both areas? They don't have a lot of time and they don't have a lot of money. Maybe they, you know, they, they have to work two or three jobs, so they have no time. And then even those three jobs are not really making ends meet. That's the worst place to be. But there's one quarter, there's one segment where these things collide in a very good way, where you have enough time and enough money. And so there's a way to do that. There's certain business models. As a matter of fact, Robert Kiyosaki wrote a great book about it. Who's ever heard of the Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yeah. Well, his second book, I think, was even better. It's called Cash Flow Quadrants. And in Cash Flow Quadrants, he talked about these three areas in, in you know, a capitalist society. We make money either as an employee, being self-employed, 
being a business owner or through our investments. Now, if you're an employer, somebody else 